Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 347. Anger must come from judgment. Judgment is the weapon I would use against myself to keep the miracle away from me. Father, I want what goes against my will and do not want what is my will to have. Straighten my mind, my Father. It is sick. But you have offered freedom and I choose to claim your gift today. And so I give all judgment to the one you gave to me to judge for me. He sees what I behold, and yet he knows the truth. He looks on pain, and yet he understands it is not real, and in his understanding it is healed. He gives the miracles my dreams would hide from my awareness. Let him judge today. I do not know my will, but he is sure it is your own. And he will speak for me and call your miracles to come to me. Listen today, be very still, and hear the gentle voice for God, assuring you that he has judged you as the son he loves. That's such a beautiful truth, that God has judged us <laughs> as the son he loves. Judgment is the weapon I would use against myself to keep the miracle away from me. There's a really beautiful admission in this affirmation and this prayer. Straighten my mind, my father, it is sick. But you have offered freedom and I choose to claim your gift today. And so I give all judgments to the one you gave to me to judge for me. We're letting go and letting God. One of my favorite mantras that I say to myself when I start to slip into judgment, it's really simple and it's even kind of silly, but it helps so much. My mind will start thinking, why is this person acting like that? Or why are they doing that? And I'll quickly remember, oh, I don't want to go to judgment. <laughs> and I remind myself, this is the affirmation I use. I don't know why blank does, says, believes blank and it's none of my business. Not being critical and condemning and judgmental toward others has lifted a massive burden off of my shoulders. I wasn't helping them or fixing them or correcting them <laughs> by condemning or judging them. And I certainly wasn't helping or fixing or correcting myself. That's the big lie of the ego. The ego says, if you point out others' flaws, if you judge and critique and condemn them and scream at them, then that'll make things better. It's okay to have firm personal boundaries. It's okay to use your wise discernment to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. And it's also a very good idea to not let that discernment be twisted into judgment because discernment says, I, I know in my heart what's right for me, but judgment says, I know in my heart what's right for you. And that is not true. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow for lesson 348.